Hey, welcome back. Today we are going to be working with text slicers. So let's see how that works. If I go to this add a control button, if I click on that, I will be able to see slicers available here. For the first one, I'm going to try this drop down list. If I click on that, if I place it here, I will be able to see some values available. As you can see, all the values are checked, which means that we are presenting all the data for all of these channels. Let me uncheck a few of them. And now we are able to see only values for catalog and phone. If I uncheck this one also, basically these are values only for phone. Now, instead of channel, let me use some other values. For example, let's use product category. Let's place it here in this control field. And now I will be able to check all these product categories. Excellent. What other options we have with this filter? We can click here and provide default selection. So basically we will be able to see only default values. Let's type computers here. And basically we will have only computers selected. So let me remove this one. We will be using all these values. And let's scroll down to see what other options we have. Here we have also metric. This is our metric here, basically sales. And in this case, let's say that we don't need that one. Uncheck this. And we will be able to see only our product category without that sales that we had previously. Also, we can sort based on dimension, for example. Let's click on this as ascending and it will be sorted differently. As you can see, excellent. Now let's proceed to this tile and let's check what other options we have. We have drop down and fixed size list. Basically this fixed size list is also the option that we have here. So if I click on that one, I will need to resize this. And that way we don't have drop down, we have all values presented like this. Let me click again on that one. Let's go to style. Let's click on this single select. This means that we can select only one value. We cannot select multiple values like we had previously. If I uncheck that, basically I will be able to select all these values. So that's the difference between those two. Also, we can remove this search box here. We can also enable it and we can type for audio, for example. As you can see, we only have those values now. Let me remove that one. Let's scroll down. We can also format this slicer. Let's click on this color. We can also change font family, text size, header, also these checkboxes. Let's make it to be green, for example, background and border. But basically, this is up to you. Whatever you prefer, you can change here. Okay, with this, I'm going to conclude this lesson. Thank you for watching.